today we're going to have a look at a new wig that has been sent to me by Mima Wigs and it's Kendall by Henry Margot well this is not a new wig uh, Kendall has been around for a while but it is in a new color which I'm really excited about because Henry Margot never had any nice cool blondes so I had uh, Kendall before from Henry Margot but it was very warm color and if you go back to that review you will see the difference I will leave at the end um, a link to my wig review playlist so you can have a look and compare it this new color is called 10613 GR so here is the wig <clears throat> the usual style that I really enjoy you know it's a bit longer than this this is um, editor speak Raquel Welch editor speak in pale golden honey I thought I wear that as well this one is not rooted so I can compare the colors but let's have a look at the cap of this wig so it is a standard wefted cap with adjustable velcro straps, ear tabs, bendable ear tabs, lace front and full monofilament which means you can pat it on any side you like. Now let's compare this colour, it's a beautiful, beautiful cool blonde. These are really, really creamy, and you have, and you have like really pale, pale honey in between. So if you compare it to to the um, pale golden honey, you can see the pale golden honey is much warmer. Although I like this color, it's not too warm. It's more of a neutral blonde leaning slightly towards warmth but this one is definitely nice and cool it's got a nice um, medium brown root it is a bit in a bright light looks a bit reddish a bit gingery but that's only if you're in a really bright light let me now compare this color to Shaded Biscuit from Raquel Welch because you know this is my favorite color so I've got here Simmer in Shaded Biscuit put them together so this is the Shaded Biscuit and this is the new Henry Margot color as you can see they are very similar but I would say that the Henry Margot is a bit cooler. But I think they are so similar that if you like Shaded Biscuit, you will love this 10 613 GR. Now let me compare it to John Renault Palm Springs Blonde because that is a beautiful beautiful cool color so that's the palm springs blonde so here is your henry margot and here is the john renault in palm springs blonde again very similar i would say john renault is probably even cooler but this is just if you um, go side by side so this is the back of Henry Margot can you see it's got a bit more of that honey uh, John Renault has a bit less of that so again if you like that color from John Renault you will absolutely love this one okay let me now put this wig on okay so here it is you know they normally come parted on the left which I don't like I feel like this Kendall is a bit different than the other one that I had you know the 
styles are always a bit will differ slightly it sort of has this front that is shorter than the rest and is straighter as well because the rest you've got these like carefree waves which I love I'm going to part it on the right sort of off center this is not a heat defiant fiber so you can't use heat on it apart from heat from your hands uh, because it will just melt you can tell how you can tell that it is not heat defined fiber is because it's a bit more shiny like if you look at um, Raquel Welch um, the heat defined fiber is uh, much more matte and resembles natural hair much more but then we know that there are some negatives to heat defying fibers they are much more delicate and they mat a bit easier you have to really look after them okay so I do like the length I do like the waves let me show you from all the sides very nice fine denier fibers feel, feel very um, light it's very light wig um, it's not that dense and it's got lovely movement but I don't really like this front I need this to go a bit like that so warm up your hands I am tempted actually to take a hairdryer on the lowest heat and from long distance just to heat it up and then hold it but I'm scared that I'm going to melt it off yeah you see that's better yeah a lot of these wigs all the hair seem to fall forward like this so you have to play with it you know remember you can use hairspray on it I've got here John Renault flexible spray gel so it's almost like a uh, gel hairspray for wigs because it doesn't matter if you use it you can always wash your wig let's have a look at the lace front it's not too bad the only thing is let me bring you closer or oh, I just move closer um, they haven't bleached the knots so the dark hair that comes out of the lace you know you can almost see like black dots that's what I don't like you don't get that with Raquel Welch but to be honest the lace front is really really nice on this have a look can you see some of the dark knots but it's not bad at all it's, it's actually pretty good okay so I just have to play with this front it's a bit flat here isn't it but you can sort it out the, the thing is when you've got get a wig and you first put it on and you think oh my god it looks awful don't write it off straight away because you should be playing with the wig as if you were playing with your own hair obviously not all of them you can use heat with but you can do a bit of you know like I just did heating it with the palms of your hands um, you can back comb it tiny bit obviously don't mat it too much and like I said you can use um, hairspray or any styling products from from any wig company really yeah this is really annoying me because maybe that wig is meant to be parted on the left 
Yeah. So maybe I should leave it parted on the left. Yeah, you see now I've got more volume. So let's train this fringe on this side now. <laughs> I like it. I love the colour. I'm so glad that Henry Margot came out with nice cool colour because it was really really missing. Yeah I'm not happy with this front but I will just have to play with it. You could also if you wanted to cut much shorter fringe, maybe that will look nice. Yeah, so I will have to really play with it to do something with this front, but I love the style. I'm sure this one is a bit different. I'm sure my previous candle had longer bits here. I have to go back and, because I'm sure I've reviewed that, um, I will have to go back and look at my videos. Because, you know, there is so many candles. I mean, um, John Reynolds got a candle, so I, I'm all confused. The cap is very comfortable. It fits really nicely. I would say it's an average cap, but it's nice and stretchy. That's it. That's what I wanted to do. Have that swoop. That's better. So you see, it's just the matter of playing with it. Let's leave it to dry a bit. I might actually use proper hairspray on it. It'd be nice. Um, it's a nice wig to put it up as well because you have these shorter bit, bits around your face that you can drop. I love wearing my wigs like this. I quite like wearing hair up to be honest but my own hair is not that thick to look as nice as with the wigs. It takes ages for that gel to dry. I think I really like it. really really like it it's um it's not too overdone it's very much everyday wig you know how much i love editor's peak but i think editor's peak is much more glamorous more done up uh, the curls are a bit more defined and and a bit tighter whereas this is one of those everyday carefree wig oh the more i play with it the more I like it. That's ju that just shows you, you know, if you compare what that wig looked like when I first put it on and what it looks like now, such a difference. So just play with your wigs as if it was your own hair, almost. <laughs> I know most of the wigs that I get are very similar in style, but you know, what's the point getting a hairstyle that you don't look good in so I stick to what I feel suits me and the colors as well I love my cool blondes and that's that <laughs> I probably I've, I think I've shown you one's dark wig on me and I think it was actually editor's peak and I absolutely hated it okay let me tell you what I did I went upstairs and I grabbed my Aveda pure abundance hair potion which is um, like a dry shampoo powder and I just squeezed some all around here because it gives you that sort of um, rough texture and this works so much better than a hairspray uh, to actually get the shape you want so this is probably the best option. You know, warm it up with your hands first to maybe lift the front, 
but if you want a bit more body just like you would do with your normal hair any one of those uh, dry shampoo powders will do and now look wherever I move it it stays stays like it I love it now so now I can make it bigger if I want to or I can just pat it down and make it not as voluminous yes yeah, so I'm really happy with it so this was Kendall by Henry Margot in 10 613 GR the brand new color uh, you can order this wig from Mima Wigs she sh they ship um, worldwide by DHL so there's no problem with that I like it more and more now I've zhuzhed it up you know I like zhuzhing things up all right my lovelies I hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think of this one thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye